hi guys welcome to this new video in today's video i am going to explain some dark fascinating facts about human brain which is going to blow your mind so make sure to watch this full video till the end your brain is an incredibly powerful and complex creation of the universe it is something which is beyond the imagination of human being just like we can't explain and explore 95 percent of the universe which is dark matter and dark energy we also can't able to explain most of the complex mechanism of our human brain it is estimated to have over 100 billion neurons also called brain cells which is about the number of stars in the milky way galaxy and every second million of connections occurring between cells in your brain through chemical messengers called neurotransmitters your brain uses neurotransmitters to tell your heart to beat your lungs to breathe and your stomach to digest they can also affect mood sleep concentration weight and other problems when they are out of balance it's such a most complex and powerful organ in the human body. Do you know, study finds people with poor handwriting are smarter? Have you wondered why we see such complex dreams during night? Why our brains keep memories of every special incident happen in our life? And why our brains change physically in size with time and age? In this video, I will discuss some of the dark fascinating facts about human brain which will going to blow your mind. Number 1. Why is having a bad handwriting considered as smart? In a study conducted by the University of Illinois, in this study published in the American Journal of Psychology, it is stated that people with ugly handwritings tend to have a higher IQ than those with a nice and gentle handwriting because your brain works faster than your hands. In other words, the human brain transmits information in a such a faster way that our motor cells present in our hand connected with brain were not able to synchronize with the brain signals properly to put it on paper. Number 2. Dreams Dreaming is one of the most impractical things a scientist could choose to study. Dreams are a universal part of human experience. When we enter rapid eye movement sleep, also called REM stage, our brain releases a chemical in our body so that the body can go in paralyzed state. This happens to confirm that our body is paralyzed, which helps to protect the body from acting out the movements and behaviors that occurring in the dream. But sometimes we wake up at those moments where chemical is still active in our body and we see things as well as being unable to move, this causing the terrifying experience called sleep paralysis. Dreams are generally not literal representations of reality, but rather a combination of real and imaginary elements that are often distorted or unreal. Animals can also dream. Studies have shown that animals have the similar brain waves to humans while they are in their dream cycle. Mostly animals may dream about you dropping a piece of meat or giving that last piece of bacon. Also, in our dreams, no strangers were allowed. Our brain aren't capable of creating or visualizing a unique face, but instead, brain may not always have a clear or complete memory of a particular face, or it may combine features from multiple faces to create a new composite image. This could explain why the faces of people in dreams may appear unfamiliar or distorted. Number 3. Memories it may seem like a simple terms as our brain stores memories but isn't that simple. There is no particular place in our brain where memory stores and memory is something which scientists are still trying to figure out how different parts of our brain processes memory to different responses within a frame of second. Scientists have divided memories into two parts such as declarative or non-declarative. We use declarative memory at the time when we try to process any particular image in our brain. For example, it may be anything, your mom, your dad or their names. We use non-declarative memories at the time when we use our limbs such as typing, writing or walking etc. Researchers have been able to trace that memories are not stored in a specific location in the brain but rather they are distributed across neural networks throughout the brain. For example, when we drive the car or motorcycle, then how we should use the steering, this memory comes from a particular place of the brain. But when we see the different commands of traffic light, that responses of memories come from the different part of our brain. Another example, when we smell something in our surrounding, then the memories related to that smell triggers from different neural pathways of our brain which help us to recognize where and when we have smelled that similar thing in the past. In scientific terms, it's called neuron firing, which happen between millions of neurons throughout the brain to gather all the experiences happened previously related to that particular incident. 
Number 4. Brain actually changes its size physically. Previously, researchers and scientists were believed that an 18 years old human brain size will remain same throughout his or her entire life. But with more scientific improvement and studies conducted in medical science, the fact comes out that human brain changes continuously with age with new experiences. It's called a structural plasticity. Structural plasticity refers to a change in the structure of neural circuits in the brain in response to changes in the environment or experiences. These changes can occur at various levels, including changes in the number and strength of synapses between neurons, the formation of new neurons and neural connections, and the reorganization of existing neural networks. Structural plasticity is thought to play a role in the variety of brain functions, including learning, memory, and the development and plasticity of sensory and motor systems. It is an important aspect of brain function that allows the brain to adapt to new experiences and challenges. Additionally, the brain can also change in size as a result of aging or certain medical conditions. For example, the brain may shrink in size as a person gets older and certain medica medical conditions such as stroke or brain injury can also cause changes in brain size. However, it is important to note that the brain size is not necessarily a direct indicator of its function or abilities. So that's all for today guys, please give us a thumbs up if you have learned something new from this video. If you have any queries or something I missed out in the video, please drop your valuable comment in the comment section. Also show your support by subscribing my channel so I can make more informative content like this. Thank you so much for watching.